हेलो बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स दोज फर्स्ट ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स हु गॉट एडमिशन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड आर अबाउट टू गिव देयर फर्स्ट प्रोफेशनल एग्जाम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एटीन ऑफ नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री and their medical colleges are affiliated to atal bihari vajpayee medical university of lucknow so this is a big notification for you listen carefully because there's a big change in the question paper pattern from your batch onwards this notification is for all the three subjects that includes anatomy physiology and biochemistry now your question paper will be of 100 marks and there will be two such question papers which you will have to attempt on two separate days earlier the same question paper of 100 marks was split it into paper 1 part 1 and part 2 and those two papers were of 50 marks each that you had to attempt on the same day but now onwards they have consolidated the two parts so there will be no part a and part b you will be given a single answer sheet to attempt a question paper of 80 marks and a separate omr sheet for 20 marks mcqs earlier you had to attempt the mcqs on the same answer sheet but now they will be giving you an omr sheet to fill up the mcqs now let's see the question paper pattern what they have changed question number 1 that will be a long question which will preferably be a case based scenario with splitting of question into four parts they may be of 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 so that will make a question of 15 marks in this clinical question of course you will have to make a diagnosis from the case based scenario and on to the diagnosis you will have to describe the four sub parts of the same question question number 2 will be a long question preferably descriptive essay type question and that's why they have not given sub parts of this question It means a long lengthy descriptive question but i believe this is more possible in case of physiology or biochemistry type questions or even in anatomy in case like if they can ask uh, to describe all you know about the stomach let's say so they you will have to describe the gross structure the shape size location anatomical position orientation peritoneal and visceral relations arterial supply venous drainage lymphatic drainage nerve supply clinical and applied anatomy and everything you know about the stomach so that can be an essay type question this will be of 15 marks then question number 3 will be short notes questions where you will have to describe in maximum 500 words there will be five such questions and each will be of 6 marks so that will make up 30 marks question then question number 4 which again is a short answer question but here you will have to write in maximum of 100 words and there will be five such questions and each of which will be of four marks so 4 into 5 that will make it a question of 20 marks then you will get a separate question paper of mcqs where there will be 20 mcqs and each of which will be of one marks that will make it a separate 20 marks question so total of 20 questions one mark each should be answered on omr sheet in the first 20 minutes an omr has to be handed over to the invigilators let me add up one thing here that if you want to prepare for your mcqs you can join my telegram group i'll attach the link in the description box of this video and also in the comment section so you can join the group from there right so 20 marks here 20 marks here that makes 40 then 30 is 70 15 and 15 will make it 100 marks all this you will have to attempt within 3 hours now let's have a look on what changes have been brought in from the previous year question paper previous year means i'm talking about the question paper for mbbs 2021 batch one major difference that has brought in is that the question paper will not be split into part a and b or part 1 and part 2 of 50 marks instead you have a single question paper of 100 marks 
here i am writing down the previous year question paper that was question paper for mbbs 2021 batch so earlier this question number 1 was supposed to be either a clinical based question or a essay type question there was an option long question which was of 15 marks in both the parts then there was this question number 2 which was a short answer question of three sub parts 5 marks each which was making it of 15 marks and this was also same here 15 marks then there was question number 3 which was short answer question but there it was maximum of 100 words you have to write and in this it was maximum of 500 words you have to write so these were considered as ultra short questions such there were like five questions of two marks each which was making it a total of 10 marks and same was here that was making it 10 marks and finally there was question number 4 as mcqs so there was 10 mcqs of 10 marks in part 1 and same here there were 10 mcqs of 10 marks in part 2 so that was making a 50 marks question paper of two parts so have you seen now what major changes have been brought in from your batch onwards in atal bihari vajpayee medical university so this is all from my side you can put up your queries if you have anything to ask you can ask me in the comment section good luck for your exams ahead